Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris, and I am a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today is all about new updates that have been announced for Microsoft 365 Copilot as of the month of June. What we will do is we will talk to these updates, the value they provide you, and demonstrate any new functionalities that would impact your experience. I will have a link to the blog post in the description below, so check it out yourselves if you would like. So sit back, relax, and let's hop right on in. So starting off with focusing on updates that will affect IT administrators or key stakeholders depending on the functionality released. The Copilot dashboard is receiving some love. New metrics are being added around the type of prompts and capabilities that users are invoking within their Copilot experiences. As you see here, the ability to ask information, find information, create information such as brainstorming as well. Those are new categories that we'll be adding in a dropdown so you can directly see how your users are leveraging Copilot to understand the wide variety of capabilities they're invoking. This update should be rolling out to the Copilot dashboard here in the month of July. Also for the Copilot dashboard rolling out in June, there was an update for meeting metrics that are captured via the intelligent recap capabilities. These new metrics now track how meetings were recapped or summarized and replace the old assisted hours metric. This will help teams better understand how Copilot is impacting Teams experiences, which is the most used Copilot experience today within Microsoft 365. We have also heard the voices of our customers loud and clear, and agent management is becoming much easier. AI administrators now have visibility to view and manage agents via the Agents and Connectors section within the 365 Admin Center. This will now provide additional key details around the various knowledge sources that agents have access to, the type of actions that they're running, and various capabilities that agents have. Admins will be able to deploy and block agents, review requests for agents, and manage agent access at the user and the group level. And if your organization has the pay-as-you-go service set up for agent capabilities that do invoke additional costs, you'll have additional management capabilities around setting up budgets. This could be set up against various departments or functions so you can cross-bill as you need in order to ensure those various departments are paying their fair share. All right, so on to capabilities that will affect all of you within your Microsoft 365 Copilot licensed or possibly unlicensed experiences. First and foremost, there are a ton of updates on how you would reference and find files that you want to reference within the Context IQ experience. For those of you who may not know, Context IQ is the ability to find files within your organization your enterprise knowledge, and add those files directly into your Copilot chat prompting experience. When you click on the Add Content button, or you use the slash referencing command, you can directly reference that content within your enterprise. Rolling out in July will be the ability to directly connect to data connectors that your organization has in place via Context IQ. You'll also have the ability to directly use a search mechanism as well as filtering mechanisms via this experience to find your files more easily. And we're also right now rolling out additional updates around the type of content that you can directly reference. We're making it easier to reference SharePoint sites in this particular case, where you'll now have a list of sites that you have access to that you can directly reference. To also help you with your prompts as well as recommended content, as you type your prompt into the prompting box, you'll have recommended prompts that you've submitted in the past, as well as recommended content that you may want to reference that starts with that textual information. Rolling out to the Copilot mobile app in July will be new natural voice capabilities. This will allow you to easily brainstorm ideas or ask for advice or assistance with a key task in a hands-free mode. This is especially useful for those of you that may be on the go and need some form of assistance to directly talk to. One of my favorite updates is now the ability to access the researcher and the analyst agent in the mobile app experience as well. This rolled out on iOS in June and should be available here in July for Android devices. Copilot Notebooks rolled out about a month ago and we're now making Copilot Notebooks accessible via the mobile app. And finally, I love the Create module. This module will now be available on mobile devices as well within the month of July. Moving on, new updates will be impacting the Microsoft Edge browser experience. You'll now be able to interact with Copilot directly via the address bar at the very top. As you see, I can ask to create a sales order, and instead of doing a normal Bing search, 
I can ask Copilot. In Edge, you will also now have the ability to quickly and easily access your agents that are available to you. Alright, moving on into app experience updates. Let's start in Outlook, and there are two key updates that I want to demonstrate here. First and foremost is now the ability to schedule meetings directly in the Copilot chat sidebar experience. In this case, I'm going to prompt, create a meeting for Billy, Corey, and Lisa for next week titled Acme Project Sync. I have directly referenced those people entries via context IQ as well, so that way Copilot can directly search their calendars and identify the earliest open availability time. Copilot then generates an event form, and I can open up that event form and modify it to meet my needs, add additional agendas and descriptions, and send the meeting invitation. Here's the event form, and I can review the content. I can see the subject's been updated, I have my attendees, the meeting time is for next week, it does not include an agenda currently, but I can draft with Copilot to generate an agenda or topic matter to fill out the overall meeting invitation. Now, the second functionality I want to quickly hit on is the ability to summarize email attachments. When you select an email attachment, you should now have the ability to summarize. I can click on this direct option and receive a direct summary of that file content without ever opening the direct file. Right now, these experiences are available only within the Outlook Online or the new Outlook Desktop Client experience. Classic Outlook will be receiving some updates here in July as well. We will be injecting the sidebar chat experience, as well as the ability to summarize Word documents, PDFs, and PowerPoint presentations directly from your email attachments. For those of you on the go, the Outlook mobile application is also receiving updates for functionalities currently available in the web. Utilizing the Prepare with Copilot option, giving you the ability to gather and summarize relevant contextual information, task work, documents, and resources that all relate to the meeting. Also now the ability to leverage the Schedule with Copilot option directly against your email threads, creating meetings aligned to the email content, which then fills out the overall description, agenda-based information, and attaches a copy of the email thread to that meeting invitation. The ability to leverage the Prepare with Copilot option is rolling out across device experiences in July, and the ability to schedule with Copilot is rolling out to iOS experiences in July as well. Now, new updates impacting the Copilot chat experience. We've actually talked about a few of these already. In the previous video that I released, I talked about the new GPT-40 image generation capabilities that have directly rolled out to Copilot chat and the create module that we provide. However, there are some new additional updates that you will find valuable within this chat experience as well. Now the increase of file size upload limits that will be increased to 512 megabytes and the ability to summarize documents in a longer format will be available to you as well. These updates have rolled out as of June. Now, one of the most important updates that I believe will create significant impact in the long term is Copilot memory. I'm really excited for this one. And this is the ability for Copilot to remember certain key aspects about you and the type of topics you prefer or your writing style or data formats that you require. This is what I consider to be the first step in built-in personalization within Copilot chat experiences. And I think the example that's provided here on this key slide helps to shape that overall experience. You can have Copilot ask you key discovery questions about the different types of things that you're interested in. In this case, maybe I want to understand key aspects about my writing style and have Copilot intake that information into its memory. I can prompt Copilot and say something along the lines of, can you ask me five questions to learn about my writing style? You can then answer those particular questions and Copilot memory will automatically be updated so Copilot remembers the key ways that you prefer your writing style to be. That would then assist with forming new output from Copilot in the ways that you require, creating a more personalized experience. My expectation is this becomes more expanded over time, where Copilot has the ability to remember particular key topics or threads or chat conversations that you've had with it, creating a more enriched chat experience. This particular update should be rolling out to Copilot chat here in July. For those of you leveraging Copilot Notebooks, we are also releasing Copilot Notebook capabilities directly integrated with Microsoft OneNote. 
If you're like me, I'm an avid OneNote user, and now having the ability to easily access my Copilot notebooks via OneNote makes the experience more seamless and easier to manage. This update should be rolled out to the OneNote desktop app experience at this current point in time. However, if you do not see this update in your experience, it may be due to the app channel that your organization currently has set for your Office apps. And if you are curious about what a Copilot Notebook is, check out the previous video on Copilot Notebooks that we have here on the channel to understand all the key aspects of what a Copilot Notebook can do for you. In PowerPoint, the Narrative Builder experience is also being updated. After you submit your prompt in order to generate your overall outlined narrative, you'll have the ability to select image settings. And this would allow you to directly select from certain types of images, such as images available as a part of the Microsoft 365 content library, or if your organization has the settings set up, the ability to select from your organization's brand library. And finally, if you want to intermix the two, you could select from both. This will then assist with branding your slides with contextually aligned images, either from your brand or from the stock images Microsoft makes available. Another new capability having rolled out in June for Microsoft Excel experiences is the ability to receive more explainability around column formulas that exist within your datasets. As you see, I have this particular field selected within my dataset, average units by segment, and within my formula bar, I have the formula, and maybe I want to understand a little bit about what that formula does. I can click on the Copilot Skittle and select Explain This Formula. Copilot then automatically submits the prompt for me so I can get an explanation about what is happening. As you see here, we have a list of key points on what that particular formula function does and the fields that it directly references. We also then have the process of what it's actively checking through and validating. And the final update to navigate all of you through is the availability for the Microsoft 365 Copilot desktop application on Mac OS device experiences. This should be available to you already today. I highly recommend that you check it out for easy access to Copilot within your working enterprise. So that's all for me for today, everyone. Some amazing updates that we are actively rolling out and releasing to our customers at this time. I'm really excited for the Copilot memory updates. I think they're going to be fantastic as we continue to personalize. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It's really appreciated. It helps support the channel. Share with your colleagues and your peers, anyone that could make use of this content. If you're not subscribed, I'm always happy to have new members join the channel and the community. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to share, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.